Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. <laughs> Frenchie is looking like the most special guy you've ever seen. I'm right not. Now. The 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 Kubra plays. Is this an Kubra? I doubt you can I've afford got a, it a Kubra. I I've got it's a like cr- an op shop version. I've got the Crocodile Dundee hat on, guys, complete with crocodile teeth in there, black. A few missing, like your mouth. <laughs> yep, it's accurate, which is good. Well, I had to fill them in. Uh, so and, and he's got his Sydney King shirt. It's yellow and purple Sydney Kings. Mm. You look like a Chinese tourist today. That's <laughs> what I'd say. You look like. Oh, I am from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was saying when I was when I was walking here, I was getting a lot of looks, and the first three people I walked past were ladies. So I was mm. like, Frenchie's looking fresh. Didn't even didn't even need to shower. Did the old uh, shower in a can. And um, I can smell it, to be honest. Yeah, because it doesn't smell good. You actually smell pretty bad today. <laughs> <laughs> you should have a shower. <laughs> no. Well, that was my point. Was I'm walking down the street because I forget what I'm wearing often. I'm walking down the street. Three girls look at me mm. like like almost double take. I'm like, "Fuck, you are killing it. You must be looking good." And then it must be the you know how people are got an attractive odor. Some people like. Girls are attracted to a man's sweat if they, some men sweat, some pheromones. And so that's I'm what like, I, yeah. My I, pheromones must be pumping today. When me and my girlfriend hop in a taxi, she's always like, oh, that guy smells so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you smell like. <laughs> <laughs> but any, so, and then, then everyone else on the street kept looking at me, even junkies, uh, were like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I like him. And, um, sexy. And then I realized I was wearing a, uh, a hat from the Northern Territory from mm. a crocodile farm. You didn't today. realize until. There you go. Well, I forget it's on my head, don't I, mate? Mm. I'm wearing this hat, Tom. Do you know why? Because you got a haircut. Today. Fresh cuts for the girls. Oh! Can we can we have a little? Gander I don't at the believe haircut? that's how the saying goes. Let's have a look at the haircut. Everyone, rate okay. your comments from zero to ten. <laughs> it's not on the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I take off the hat, <laughs> I knew there was a reason for the hat. Okay, and the and the lot of conversation around. Okay, it. firstly, do you go to barber or hairdressers, Tom? Uh, hairdresser. hairdresser. No, actually, it's called a barber. But you it's would not. with your prissy little red. Co- is what sort of shirt is that? Is that red woolen? Don't try and detract from That's your like shit haircut. Lot. It's a weird. What Did color you would you describe that as, Xander? It mm. wants Faded to be red. red. Yeah, it wants to be red, but it's just a bit too rose. All right, let's see this $10 train wait, station haircut. Wait, wait. <laughs> so I go to Barber's now because I'm a man, whatever. And mm. because I watched the show, uh, what was it? Actually, no. Edward Scissorhands. You don't mess with the Zohan. I thought he was okay. a barber, but he was a hairdresser in that anyway. Adam Sandler's best work. So I go there. Mm. There's this dude. they generally from um, the Middle East, from Arabia. Yeah. Sure. They are. They are because I've been to a lot of them. See, Xander's nodding. They're all from Middle East. I don't know what it is, but they fucking pro- they produce the best barbers, okay? That's a fact. So I go in there and you know I'm not that good at saying what I want, okay? I don't speak clearly to begin with. I mumble, mm. let alone when I want something done, I don't really know what I want. I want them to just... I just so I go in, he's like, oh, what do you want? I don't know how to do an accent. And I'm like, yeah, just a mullet, thanks. Blank stare. Okay, he goes, "What?" I go, a "Mullet." You know what a mullet is? And I didn't want to. I don't know, but I tried to say it without sounding rude, but it sounded rude. And he's like, "Oh, of course I know what a mullet is." And I'm like, "Do you want me to show you a picture?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> so I had to show him a photo. You usually have to show a photo. Surely he's cut a mullet before. Well, probably not, because no one wants an actual mullet. And <laughs> if you have a mullet, you cut it yourself. Yeah, you get your mates to do it. I know. And I, know, I can I know. tell from the side the. Only the little bit I can see he did a kind of shit job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like it's like different different lengths going on behind you. Oh ear. yeah. It Show was us the hard top. to explain. Show us Wait. The top. <laughs> and so the I've anticipation's got, killing I've me. I've got to shoot for my poster tomorrow, so I'm like, I'm gonna need a fresh cut for the girls. Pants. Um and and so we tried to make something work. And no, so I go over there, he goes, How short do you want? Very short. He goes, one or four, whatever it is. Mm. I'm like, I don't want that either. Not that short. Just use the scissors. Just keep it sort of long and on the top. Sort of like a, sort of like a, f- a fluffy mullet. Mm. And that didn't get through. It's, yeah. it's, it's all right, though. It's not too bad. You know, I learned this um, when I was like 15. What? All, all the problems you're having, I learned that 
early on. Yeah, you should never get haircuts. That's what it's come you, down to, you guys. You need to go to the same hairdresser. You need to find one that's good and go to the same one. You no. Can't, you can't just throw a dice, bro. I've never found my soulmate hairdresser. Mm. Uh, I want to. Maybe you should spend more than fifteen dollars. Is there a Tinder for hairdressers? You Maybe. know, you swipe. It's called Yelp. No, you I just don't look like at that. reviews. I don't like that. <laughs> reviews are for nerds. Yeah, all and right. Sandwich store. Show us, show us your haircut, and we'll be the judge of that. Ooh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Mm. Let me flop it up. I mean, what do you think, guys? It's a mullet. Thank you, Th- Tom. Thoughts? Th- t- take them through. Th- our listeners can't. Get this reveal. So take a take our listeners through it. Uh, it looks like he's uh, gone quite short on top. It's um, borderline. I'd say that's a number four, five. Number five on top. Mm. Number two on the sides. No, number three on the sides. I'm mm. gonna say a bit of a fade up, mm. and the back just chaos. <laughs> yeah, the back. He did not do much to the back. It I was like. Look- Sometimes they'll thin it out. I was trying to say freshen it up so it just sort of s- matches what's on top so keep it sort of the same consistency and he just left it. <laughs> yeah, he absolutely. <laughs> it's like a spin effects back there. <laughs> it is. Where was the hairdresser located? Um, Central. A, uh, have you heard of a place called Taylor Square? Oh. Mm. It was a homeless guy. <laughs> it was a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be wearing the hat for the rest of the podcast. Tom, <laughs> how was your day? Yeah, I mean... It wasn't, I didn't get a haircut. I need a haircut, but I go to the same bloke every time. Oh, do you? What's his name? Andy. Good work. He's a legend. Shout out Andy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. Has he ever given you a shit haircut? No. Have you ever got one without him? Because you used to do a lot of those videos where it's like when you go to a new coffee yeah, shop. Totally. You did one when you go to a new hairdresser, didn't you? I actually, when I first went to, because he owns the salon. Mm. Salon? Yeah, sure. Um, and... When I first went there, I went to someone else and I didn't like her. She was, um, let's say, a bigger woman. Bigger woman. Okay. <laughs> got it? I was like, I didn't... I didn't know if you were... Yeah, I got she, it now. Not tall. I got it. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> she was... I found her technique a little lazy. Oh. She, she sat. Okay. She sat. Mm. No. She... um, Like one of those lazy chicks here at the supermarkets in England. Mm. That's... Yeah. yeah. She like, sat and instead of moving to get around my head. Yep. She held you're on a wheelie chair. She okay. held the back of my chair and she kind of manhandled <laughs> me around. <laughs> just just spinning you. me. She just turned you. Like quite rough. She just turned you. And she was American and I was like, yeah, nah. So you can select who you get your hair cut from and I've What what sort of chair was she on? She was on a higher high stool. Higher stool. She needed wheels on that stool. She didn't have wheels, I don't think, and she just spin me like a fucking piece of meat. Could did she have the use of her legs before I start ripping on her? Well, that seems lazy then, doesn't it? Oh, hundred percent. That's I didn't appreciate it. So then I'd go back to someone else, and she'd see me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And did she? Did she look like? Oh, I felt like she did give me a look like I've cut his hair before, and he didn't come back. I think move. I think up with the chair turning thing. So she would turn your head to. She turned my chair to, to get to, a different angle a different of my angle, head. different angle so she didn't have to move her chair at all. That's right. You, like, anyone else's head probably wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> you have a big head. That's so true. <laughs> true. <laughs> Can't yeah. blame her for that one. No, you're right. She would have lost a lot of weight walking around that thing. She, she needed it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. She doesn't listen. She's brave, Tom. She's brave. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. And so you, so oh yeah, I forgot the sound effects. So you new dude, Andy. Mm. And did you make uh, took the people who haven't seen your video? I think the first one you made, I found it quite a really cool concept. I've always said this about you, Tom. Your concepts are brilliant. Oh, thank you. Um, it's when you break up with your barista. barista. So this was based on true a true story. I used to work near a place. And I'd go there, they were cheap coffees, only $2.50, which is very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he was a really nice guy. Yep. Super nice, always had a chat. Felt like friends, you know? Yep. But the coffee, Ooh. it wasn't his fault, it was just shit. Mm. Then a new place opened down the road. Amazing coffee. Mm. Closer. Ugh. And I went with a couple of people and they started going there, so I started going there. And I was like, what am I going to do if I run into this guy? Like, I'm going to have to say I went on holiday. Oh, I just got back. I've been in Sudan for seven years. And you forgot where the coffee shop was. Yeah. And did you ever run into him? I once saw him and it was really awkward. And so for those who don't know, what happened in the video, I can't actually remember. I I filmed it for you. So it was basically 
me running into that barista. Yeah, that was Elliot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Elliot. Yeah. And it was basically like, it's like a breakup. You feel guilty. They're kind of resentful and What are you, what are you being jealous. up to? It's like, oh, nothing in your heart in the other coffee cup. That yeah, was yeah, it. behind that my back. It. And he's like, oh, you've got a bit of cappuccino foam on your lip. And he's like real real spiteful about it. And that was kind yeah. of... Yeah. Is, is it better than mine? That's yeah, that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. I then, so, yeah. So you would say, to put this in terms of like a relationship, because it's called Breakup, your yeah. barista... You're seeing a girl a couple streets away. Yep. Great girl, rank pussy. That's what – because yes. the coffee is rank and yep. that's the pussy. Yep. That's, that's what you're drinking. That's very comparable. That's what you're drinking. And then she sees you walking And then with, you've got a new girl. And you can tell she's got a taste Just of pussy. A, yeah. <laughs> you're like this – Your mouth's she can attached tell. to it. Your mouth's still attached and to it. And you hide her. <laughs> and you behind hide her. You. Behind my giant head. I use it as a shield so the – so the old ah, girl can't see yeah, the new okay, one. Okay, but yeah. you do that with coffee cups. Yeah. And then did you do a sequel with hairdressers? Yes. With Sketchy, I believe? Sketchy, yes. This is like I'm interviewing you for Time Magazine. Yeah, Man of the Year. Dolly <laughs> Magazine, maybe. <laughs> Heartthrob of the Year. <laughs> More like, um, what's that That YouTube show, Kayla Keemstar? YouTube Drama Alert. Drama Alert, yeah. <laughs> drama <laughs> Alert. Break, you broke out with your barista. <laughs> I don't know who. Welcome how many back to the news. I don't know how many listeners would have seen this, but it's like uh, if they're YouTube watchers, they know drama. Alert. It's that like entertainment crazy. show just for YouTubers, and the guy who runs it's oh, like a he's sad a troll. I he's really don't like him. No, but it looks like a troll, not like an actual troll. He's a bit of both. He made this song. It's called Dollar in the Woods, and it's was he serious? I, can't I think remember. he was serious. I think it's the worst song I've ever listened to. Really. Uh, apart the from any mo- <laughs> song from Cats, apart from any song from Cats, <laughs> Angelical Cats, <laughs> <laughs> Angelical Cats. <laughs> Fuck, I've still got. Can we get this. Dollar in the Wood up? Um, can I we? Get it. Yeah, I think I let's, play give it a, the let's give that a. Let's give that a. So he's like does. So what's happening in Drama Alert? Logan Paul is fighting a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a boxing match. Now Logan Paul's going to fight an NFL player. Did you see this? No. What are you saying, Xander? Use your words. He's going to die. Yeah, he's going to die. So what, Logan Paul's versus an NBA player? Well, um, he's friends with this NFL player, and this NFL player is called Antonio Brown. We've talked about him on the podcast before. I'm not sure if he's a friend or an enemy of the podcast yet. Right. He's gone crazy. He's left the league. Uh, we think he's got severe CTE because he's, he's what's batshit CTE? insane. Uh, what's CTE, Xander? It's like brain damage. Uh, traumatic oh. and something... Chronic traumatic anchor, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much just means he got tackled a lot. So it means he got tackled a lot. Yeah, he's gone batshit crazy, but he's an athlete. And so him and Logan Paul are going off on Twitter. How tall is this dude? And um, and because he... He's 1.7, That's not tall. Antonio Brown. No, no, no. But he's just like a freak athlete. He's like... Oh, is he... Do you say NBL or NFL? Uh, NFL. Oh, I thought you said Like NBL. American football. No, he's not that tall, but he's just like amazingly fast. He's like... Right. And he would fuck up Logan Paul. But I don't want to see any more celebrity boxing matches. I'm fucking YouTube boxing matches. I find it I'm interesting it. when it's people who aren't athletic. Like, yeah. I like it when it's like random people like PewDiePie versus Tana Mondu. Possibly. Mongu? Mongo. Mongoose. Maybe your, ha- your hairdresser would be good. My hairdresser? You, would you watch that? What do you mean? The, the, the chick. The chick. Oh, right. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, here's the Keemstar. Shamu, whatever you want to call it. Yo, I'm about to burn down this house. Are you fucking ready? Are you ready? I'm about to spill fucking bars like diarrhea. I'm about to nuke the whole city like North Korea. Are you ready? Walked in the woods. Found a dead dollar. Found a dead dollar. Um, that'll, that'll do. And that's that. And that, <laughs> he that just does repeats the dollar thing for about um, three minutes. And that's got found 10 million dead views. Dollar, found it. 10 million views, oh, bro. Oh, man. People. People. Um, I've actually filmed a new film clip. Have you? That I've teased on this podcast before. I've said I've got a song about pingers coming out. Oh. And it's almost ready, guys. Oh, You've been talking about this ready. for like years. I've had it for a year. Yeah. I've had it feels for a like year. it's been going on I for a while. I just needed to find the, r- the right pingers uh, for the film clip. And Are you, are you going to take Guess pingers? who was in the film clip? I think I saw Swag Lord. Swag Lord. Our uh, old housemate, Swag Lord. He's uh, made an early appearance on one of uh, our videos. He was um in the Five surprise, surprise Bachelor 
Um, party. Five signals every wingman should know. And the top yep, comment Justin. was about Justin. He made like a 15 second cameo. Was that guy's an absolute swag lord? So now we call him Swag Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a swag lord, to be fair. Fuck oaf he is. Fucking oaf he is. What should I get for my poster for next this year's show, Tom? <laughs> What's your show called? Doesn't matter. Well, we it haven't, does we haven't matter. released it on the podcast yet. Well, then so. I'm not going to help no, you. No, but it's not going to be related to the show name. Well, it seems like it should be. Okay, it's called Cats. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it should be called um, Mullet with a Mullet and just have a mullet fish with a mullet. Mullet with a mullet. Okay, I like that. It makes no sense. Yeah, it is mullet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just thought he would shave it a bit. Not shave it a... Frenchie, your problem is you're very bad at communicating and yes. then it's the other person's fault when they can't read your mind. That's literally half your problems. It is. That's all my fault. It's, But I thought like you'd naturally just go, oi, I'll just, tri- not trim it, but like, what, what was the word you were using before? See, I can't even use that word. Thin it. Thin it. Thin it, yes. Why didn't you say when he hadn't done it, hey, can you just thin this Because I couldn't up? see the fucking back, could I? They give you the mirror. We all know they give you the yeah, mirror. Yeah, but the... And they show you the back with the mirror. It Everyone knows that. The mirror is... <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our international listeners, by oh, the shit. way. Hello to our new ones and guten tag to our old ones. I think I did that the right way around. Grootsy. Grootsy. Why are you doing that? I'm just saying. Have you done any gigs lately, Tom? No, I'm I'm wanting to get it back into it, but I'm writing new stuff, and then I'm gonna have to go out and test it. Oh yeah, so I've got some pretty rogue shit, so it should get awkward. I cannot mm. wait. Mm. What do you think would be the thing you can't joke about at the moment? I, th- I don't know. I've got a theory. Okay, tell me about this. It's just got to be funny, and then you can get away. No, with but it. you can't. Like the most, if you bring up this topic. Most audiences will go silent and will be like, oh, no, this better be gone. You, I like, I'm not saying you can't, but like difficult, most difficult to pull off. Because last year was definitely trans, definitely. Yeah. I th- so I'm wondering what it know. is this year. Don't know. What are you thinking? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That's what I, was, I was interested because I want to put it into my show. In Australia. In Australia. Why not? Bushfires. No, you can nah, do bushfires. you can do bushfires now. Aboriginal jokes are hard. Yeah, they're always they're always. But um, what's his face did a really good one. Who? Um, Andrew Schultz when he was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, that was. I think f- that's the thing though. If you're good at it and it's funny, you just need a new take on it. And as long as you, the thing with where, when you're doing your jokes, it's what, who are you laughing at? Because although it's about that topic, it's not at the yeah exactly the people in, yeah. in really. It's actually Andrew Schultz was actually at the white people for their. It is very clever, but but we can't uh, go into that joke because we're not going to do it justice. That's true. So you're trying to find the edgiest stuff. Yeah, I think why not. I think so, that'd be guys, nice. if you want to let us know on Tom and Frenchie on our socials, what's the edgiest things we can't joke about but we should? Because last year I was like, like without even realizing, I had like so many just like. Bill Cosby, Rolf Harris, just all the classics, R. Kelly. You, you love I mean? you love to revisit the same themes. And so that's why I was like, I need new ones. Mm. I need new ones. You gotta MJ. Just, you gotta do a lot of writing and then filter. Oh mate. Oh, like a roll dar book. I don't know. I don't know his process. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What's your favorite roll dar book? Uh Witches. Oh, that's a shit one. Grow Have up. you seen the movie? Grow that up. shit's sick. Oh, that's a movie, you dickhead. It's not a fucking book. It was based on a Roald Dahl Oh, book. but my favourite book is a good movie. Mate, no. it would have been too scary no. for you because you can't handle I scary movies. I don't think movies. you've read it. I yeah, don't but you've you even seen it. If I'm saying what's your favourite Roald Dahl book, you can't be like, that's a sick movie. That's a movie. It's not a book. But the movie's based on the book. Doesn't matter. It's a Roald Dahl concept. Wait, go on, Xander. What about, he's, he's trying to chime in. That's dumb. Who's which? Who's one? <laughs> Last time Xander stood up for you, everyone yes, online said Xander's he was wrong. Xander's standing up for me again. Last time you were wrong, Xander. Xander's so. right. Yes, he, uh, he said book. I did say book. He didn't say book. So if, yeah, so if you read the book Witches and you read every other rolled out book, well, it's still I'm the best. Sure Is it still the best? The That's all I'm wondering. That's all the I'm wondering. movie's based on the book. Doesn't matter. Fuck. If you read all the Roald Dahl's books mm. and... 
Is The Witcher still the best one? That's what the question is. I haven't read so all what of his one books. was the best movie? Well, then what's the answer then? That's a personal choice. I was just wondering. What's your answer then? Probably BFG. That's because you're a and big that was a shit fucking movie. gay guy. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> it was about Frenchie the BFG. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchie's I would now love, crying. I would love to see you in a debate. <laughs> Just snap. <laughs> um, the speaker is not staying on topic. It's about books, not movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. You had a shit answer. We need to get him a microphone if he's going to talk. 20 years ago. Do we have a spare microphone for Zandy? He's saying, when did I read the BFG last? We could get him a microphone. Do we have a spare? Not on us. Oh, we don't have one on us. On We'd a, need the uh, cable Zander. as well, which we don't have. Oh, I got a few cables. I'll bring them in next next week. I'm um, coming and jump jump on the mic when you got something good to to offer. But Zander. you keep asking him, and then you don't present a microphone. Yeah, I know, but that's just uh, sailor life, isn't it? There was the what was the other Roald Dahl books? I'm assuming all of our listeners read them during primary school. Matilda, oh yeah, that's a fucking good movie. Yeah, what that's is? a way better movie than The Witches. We can't hear what you're talking about. You what do you mean re- you, you can't gotta, hear me? You've got to repeat what he says. You we, s- I just said Matilda. And then he said James and the Giant Peach. No, that one's said, shit. That was a good movie. No, that one's fucking shit. Matilda's <laughs> a good movie. I said Matilda, oh, that was a good movie. Movies. What? We're not talking about movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I don't actually remember any of the other books. There you go. Oh. Uh, you right, you big a- BFG? <laughs> BFG. That's Today's good, episode. That's a good show name. The BFG. Yeah, and then it can mean whatever I want it to mean. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Today's episode is sponsored by no one, so we would like you to donate to the Australian bushfires. To donate to the New South Wales Royal Fire Service, go to www.rfs.nsw.gov.au. If you want to help the Country Fire Association of Victoria, go to www.cfa.vic.gov.au. What? I'm just saying uh, the links will all be below too. It's hard for them to write it down mid me to fucking listen. I'm pretty sure it's simple. Okay. RFS. <laughs> I'm sure they could figure that one out. That's not a lot of letters to remember, is it, French? I'm just trying to so help out. So do you want out. me to stop no, donating to I'm just trying to, to help out. I'm just trying to help out. I'm saying there's another way if you forget. So if you're listening... If you don't have a fucking photographic memory. So if they're listening like, oh, to... Oh, I've got that website. Okay. So Locked a lot of people in. listen on Spotify. Yep. And it's going to be below, is it? You can still put shit in, in our bio. Do we? We don't, but we could. Exactly. We could definitely. Actually, I could definitely do that. Yeah, I'll okay. do it. I'll do it. All right. So all the links are below and I'm not going to read them. No, anymore. read that while we're donating Go to. On, Get all the good ones, Tom. Help the relief of recovery episodes. Efforts. Red Cross. Um, Australia. We've done South Australia. Um, help wildlife. Victims from the fires. Help and wildlife. <laughs> oh, there's no comma there. I thought it was a comma. Bryce, he's far away. Okay, to help wildlife victims from the fires, comma, that's where it was, donate to Wires, at Wires, rescue, see, why is that an at, not a W, oh, that's, that's a W one, okay, www.org.wires, slash au, forward slash donate, slash, that was not even right, emergency fund, it's quite hard, Tom, I'm not sure if so you know So you should have let me keep going. You did going. very well, you, yeah. do, you can do the last two. <laughs> You're annoying me you today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> To donate to the Salvos, go to salvationarmy.org.au <laughs> and that's it. That would have taken me two seconds. <laughs> well, I find it like I've been feeling quite bad because I haven't done anything cool to raise money yet. Did you share any links or anything? Yeah, I've done all that stuff. Like I talked about it in my videos. I've shared some links. I've donated money personally. But you know how like, what was the article we got? Like we got the tennis players donating like 500 bucks per each ace. We've got... Uh, the soccer players, Matty Ryan was like five hundred dollars each save in the Premier League. The Australian basketballers are doing this cool stuff, and then the drug dealer, mm. I believe we've got a link for that. He was donating like ten percent of profits from pingers or something, which is awesome. So he was like texting yeah, people saying, "Yeah." Um, so he'd be like, "This is not a joke," because people would be like, "Are you serious?" Because <laughs> it's not like a real organization. <laughs> 
But I mean, we can't compete with the fucking Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not nah, making much nah, money nah. from this shit. So auctioning off clothes. Auctioning off clothes. That's why I was like, like when Shane Warne auctioned his baggy green, got a fucking million for it. Yeah, I was like, legit. What could I auction that would get? Over ten dollars, yeah, <laughs> like a dildo. Easy. What's I don't what's, even know if who has something as iconic as a motherfucking baggy green. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to compete with those people. All you can do is <laughs> do our part and share. The you got to read those messages, Tom, from the dealer. That's so right, fucking says, funny. Crack a pearl batch, new amazing pearl. The smell of heaven is back. Get in quick to try the best going around. Hashtag cracker. And then he sent a follow-up <laughs> message saying, we'll be donating 10% of all pur- purchases this weekend to the bushfires. As a lot of you know, my family have been affected. Not a joke. Actually being legit. Thank you all. <laughs> what a good cunt. <laughs> I mean, you're a drug dealer, Crack but you're a, you're a great... You're not donating tax. Um, but, uh, well, it's funny. In the screenshot, it was a double message. So he'd sent the cracker batch to him. That was, I'd say that was Purple days Rain. Be- days before. Uh, yeah, but they're like, I don't want any of it. And then he's like, okay, I'll try the donating 10%, see if I can get some sales that way. That's good. That's good marketing. <laughs> A lot of people have come out and done some cool donating. Um, who, what else did I see? Oh, there was the chick selling nudes, which was cool. Oh, So she yeah. was doing um, nudes. She was a nude model. And um, that's a great thing. Then I saw Riley Reed get on board. Um, our mate Danny's mate. What did she do? Uh, she was doing a similar thing. She was doing personalized uh, photos for people who donate. They just have to send her a receipt of the donation and she would send them a personalized photo, which is awesome. Good on them and so, everything so, helps. So with the nude model, she's already got heaps of photos of her Nike. Mm. What, what's, the, what's the extra special ones? Is it like bushfire themed? No. it's just. Or like she got a bush in it? They're just normal nudes. But, but it's like for you it's not like a stock image. It's like she's taking it specifically for Frenchie. Mm, it's a, I'm pretty sure it'll be a stock image, Tom. Xander's saying it's a stock. I- he bought him. And were they stock? Were they Xander? Xander bought him. <laughs> Xander hasn't even seen a naked woman before. <laughs> <laughs> He's only seen his mum's tit when he was breastfed. Yeah, you BFG. <laughs> <laughs> I turned on him. You can't trust me. Oh, poor Xander. Just got you aid from nowhere. <laughs> from that was nowhere. for taking Frenchie's side. No. And here, th- I love this story that you uh, sent through, French. Gwyneth Paltrow. Wait, wait, wait. You know who sent this through? No. My brother, Matt. Nice. Shout out for sending this through. Go on, Tom. Gwyneth Paltrow is selling a candle that smells like her vagina. I actually, Beautiful. as soon as you sent that, I went on to see if I could buy it because that is a funny video. That is really funny. Because then we could funny. light the candle and smell her vagina, which that would be a treat so for all of us. That is so funny. But like, vaginas have different smells based on the time of the day, yeah? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a candle. Won't they have different smells? Like after Bikram yoga, it smells like yes. hot Yes, after death. the gym, surely a vagina smells worse. I saw what a about movie. What if it's like camping vagina? Yeah, like Falls Festival. Yeah, vagina. Falls Festival. Well, there's vagina. a bit of mud in it. Yeah, a bit of yeah. mud. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Well, as you specified what vagina it is, freshly washed well, vag. Australian gold price. Sorry? It's $114. The candle sells for $114. That is a fucking bargain. To buy Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. I would have bought it. Yes. That's tax deductible could, if we so make a video. Could you not buy it, Tom? They're sold out. Well, yeah. People have got in quick to get that fanny scent. So. Is that how she <laughs> is that how she made it? She just bought a bunch of normal no, vagi- so vaginas and shoved it up there. No, so basically, I think she was actually developing a candle. Mm. So she was playing around with scents, blah blah blah, mm. and then she came out and said, "Sat on one." No, she, she sat on one. She was working with them, and she said, "This smells like my vagina." So she came out. <laughs> she said that to whoever she was making it with, and then they were like, "That's that's good." Yeah, that's you can market want. that. You can market that. But that's like rich white woman vagina. I don't Come think. jump on the mic, mate. It's uh, made of a funny, gorgeous scent, sexy and beautifully unexpected scent derived from geranium, citrusy bergamot and cedar. Absolute, absolutes juxtaposed with damask rose and ambrette seed. Did they say citrus? Like lemon. Like a lemon juice, puss. I've never smelled a vagina that smells like that. I haven't smelled a vagina that doesn't smell like lemon juice, to be honest. Huh? What lemon juice? Yeah, citrus. Is, it, is she like? How is she getting to the point that she can just recognize that smell all the time? 
Well, she knows what her own. You know what your own of smells course, like. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Is it? Is you a cupcake your vagina to your nose at off intervals throughout the day. I Check think <laughs> that sounds like she's been putting air freshener on her vagina, like from the car. Yeah. Like she's, she's like, it smells like air wick. She's got a <laughs> she's got a hot day, and she's like, oh fuck, I forgot to go down there. Just grabs it off the the, the, the little rearview pine mirror, tree. the little yeah. pine thing, shoves it up there. She's like, oh, Ooh, citrus. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I would I would have bought it, but that's fucking. I don't know why you'd advertise that. I saw a meme that was just a fish on fire with a candle in it that said Gwyneth Paltrow's new <laughs> new candle. <laughs> should, should we sell a candle, Tom? Um, and it smells like our anus. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> do you think you have a um? Do you think you have a unique anus? It's very one? citrusy. Yes, it wow. is very. You eat a lot of lemons. Cantaloupe, would you believe? You eat lemons with the rind on, don't you? Oh yeah. Not many people know that about you. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just only go the rind. Through. Only, only the, the rind. <laughs> he sp- yeah, he spits out the insides. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe I'll just keep a lemon up there for that a rainy day. Don't doesn't that? St- what the fuck is she doing? Like, What's wrong with her? Like I she's feel got, like I think she's, she's got, got CTE. enough money, bro. She's got CTE. She's got enough money that she doesn't need to sell badge cans. That is not the act of a normal person. She's got CTE. She's been... That's your word of the day and you don't even know what it means. Right. It means ce- 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 cerebral traumatic enthalopia. What the fuck? Doesn't matter. CTE from the BEG. She's no, not BFG. acting She's not acting like a rational human being. She was fucking... Oh, my God. She was fucking on a Marvel movie. She's an actress. Why are you doing this weird shit? Mm. She's got kids. Here's what I think. Have you ever seen Men in Black? I have. Possibly an alien has landed out front of her porch. Mm. She lives in the country. Okay. And um, she goes, she's going to go outside to check. She's going, I'm going to go check what that is. She's gonna, and her, her wife's like, fucking, why don't you check Her wife? It's from Men in Black. Oh, <laughs> she's so the dude confused. in this. Gotcha. And then the alien uh, eats her and wears her skin. So mm. she's not herself right now because she's a fucking alien. Was that before or after she named her kid Apple? Before. <laughs> 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 Yo, so she's keeping it fruit themed. Citrus, oh, candle, apple I guess if an kid. apple comes out of your vagina, it does get a little fruity. I was thinking that too. Imagine if your mom brings out a, a candle that smells like her pussy and you'd be like, that's fucking weird, mom. Unless you're already called apple and you'd be like, yeah, I'd be used to that. Mm. Yo, that'd be the best fucking prank. Yuck. Oh, and put, lit it in class. So doesn't that smell good, guys? It's Apple's mom's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Apple's mom has got it going on. Maybe it's like, you know, how you know when you cook pork and you put an apple in its mouth to yep. give it flavor? Maybe yep. she does that with her pussy. She's like, someone's going to go down on this, so I'm just going to keep an apple inside it all day. Let it kind of yep. ferment in there. And then yeah, that could be it. Mm. That's probably what it was. It was that one. Now on to good, my... Good... F- uh, if she was still dating Chris Martin, she used to marry Chris Martin from Coldplay. Mm. Good song. Which one? A vagina smelling candle. Oh, yeah. That is actually... VSC for short, maybe. Mm. Well, I guess you'd probably get like a, like a code name for it. Like Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I think that song was actually about her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta move on. <laughs> we gotta move on. This is my favorite uh, story of the week. Okay. Um, this it's been a, it's a good week for stories, guys. Yeah, it feels like it's been a while. Have we been off for a while or something? Because there's yeah. a lot of stories. Yeah. So this story is: uh, Florida man wakes bur- wakes to Fuck. burglars sucking his toes. That is that is f- fucking Florida man. It's always Florida man. Mm. Have you guys uh, listeners heard the memes about Florida man? Yes, no, yes. Some of you have, some of you haven't. <laughs> Stop asking people <laughs> listening questions. It so makes no sense. All the weird shit goes down <laughs> in Florida. So if you type in Florida man into Google, mm. all the weirder shit will come up. And, yep. the, and the news uh, article always starts with Florida man does yep. this. That's the memes about Florida man. So here's the, here's the main uh, meat of the article. His yep. sole motive was to suck toes. Yep. Florida man gets a very rude awakening when he stirs and finds a burglar in his bedroom licking his feet. Mm. The 20-year-old man awoke on Christmas Eve. What a nasty treat. Santa, is that you? (laughs) To find an intruder (laughs) sucking on his toes. Mm. The suspect stated that he wasn't interested in stealing any cash or belongings and only wanted to suck toes. 
The victim managed to fight off the intruder, who quickly fled from the scene, despite calling a canine crew and swabbing the victim's toes for DNA. Police are still searching for the fl- felon with a foot fetish. Is Sus- that illegal? Police believe the man was about six foot four, <laughs> blonde haired <laughs> mullet, and went by the name of BFG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's almost like okay. Okay. If you broke into someone's house, mm. left a hundred dollars on the counter and left. <laughs> is that illegal? <laughs> How much do you think it would cost to pay someone to suck your toes? So Another man. Are you saying that's what you want? <laughs> I'm saying it's not the worst way to wake up. Would you say Could have been killing him. Could have been stabbing him. Mm. Could have been lighting a pussy candle. True. Instead of just a little little toe job. Nah. Uh, I mean, yo, as, as an assault comes, it's probably one of the better ones. It's one happen. of the better ones. It yeah. is. Yo, what if? I wonder what he was dreaming about. You know how when shit happens to you, it often yeah. works into your dream. So reckon, it was like I reckon, like putting on a wet shoe, and he just kept putting it on and taking it off and putting it on. No, no, no. <laughs> what it would have been? It would have been that classic one from a rom com. So he's uh. He's finally on a date with... Who's the celebrity he's got a crush on? Jennifer Qu- Lawrence. Gwyneth, Pe- Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Lawrence. <laughs> Gwyneth Lawrence. And somehow he's meeting her and they're hooking up. Mm. And she's like, put a, put your candle in my um, holder. Wow. Mm, very graphic. And he's like, fuck yeah. And then he's, and he's hard. He's getting very enjoyable. And then she <laughs> goes, she goes, wait, you're going to love this. Starts sucking on his toes. Right. And he's like, okay, it's it's Gwenifer Lawrence. Mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> I'll go with it. And then eventually he wakes up. <laughs> it's a fucking burglar <laughs> with a ski mask on. <laughs> a ski mask that doesn't have doesn't have the eye holes cut out. It's just a toe hole. <laughs> it's just a toe yeah. hole. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking <laughs> horrific. <laughs> Jesus. And he finishes wanking, then he's like, get off. <laughs> Whoa. A fight between the pair ensued with the suspect grabbing his genitals and threatening to pull a gun out of his pants. A very hard, long gun. <laughs> yeah. Flash gun. I don't know if he was grabbing his genitals Flesh or that gun. guy's genitals, but either way, it's not a good time. Oh, and then they put a they fucking a close sh- up photo a shutter stock feet. photo of feet to really... Feet poking out of blankets. That's fucking scary. Mm, nice toes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Frenchie's definitely a toe sucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. All right, here's a no. fun story for you. Let me just open this. Only toes I suck are hobbits. You like the hairy toes? Mm, yeah. Mm. Daddy like. <laughs> oh my God. I've started saying that. I don't know why. You it's would. so bad. You would. All right. So, Punky has done an article. Shout which, out, Punky. Which Australian universities have the hottest students from UTS to ANU? We've got them ranked. Now, we both went to different universities, so we can weigh in on our University thoughts. of Wollongong, number one. University of Canberra, number 58, probably. I don't think we'll be number nah. one. <laughs> it's Wollongong, bro. Wollongong's better than Yeah, we, got some, hot, we yeah. got some hot dudes. Oh, I mean just in terms of unis are pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do we got? Top 10, what is it? What yep. is it? Yep. Okay, top oh, 16. Top 16. ANU, number 16, the last so on the Is list. that your rival Canberra Uni? Yeah, that's kind of They're where... the nerds, yeah. We're a lot smarter. It's quite a highly ranked university. Um, not the most interesting people go there. I'll tell you that for free. Mm. But um, yeah, it's a university. Followed by University of Adelaide. So if you don't know overseas listeners, Adelaide is famous for churches. Mm. And so by default... I've heard that Adelaide pedophiles. actually has a large percentage of women over men. Ooh. Yeah, there you fact. go. Why, why is that? Do you think, Tom? I don't know why. I've got no answer. It's just a f- the fact. Where, who did you hear that off? I can't remember. It was recently. Made up. He made that okay. up. Okay. Macquarie University. That's in Sydney. Okay. Number 14. 14. RMIT in Melbourne. Quite a creative uni. Mm. Mm. Creative people aren't that good looking, apparently. Usually they're not. Yeah, it's fair. That's why they have to be creative to yeah, make up for their compensate. lack of looks. Yeah, that's yes. right. Not good at sport as well, I've heard. Would you say we're creative, Tom? Mm. Yes, you would? Yeah. Oh, gross. Fits the mold. 
And good looking. So. Well, yeah, we're the exception to the rule. The exception. Monash University, Melbourne. Melbourne, copping it. Curtin University, WA, bit of a shit name, let's be real. All the pictures are just of like trees. Mm-hmm. Okay. University this of Sydney, Sydney. A lot of Asians 10. there. Are you saying they're unattractive? That's what they're saying. No, they're, they're saying, saying they're, they're the 10th 10. most attractive. 10th out of 16? Well, it's out of all the unis. 10th out of... Oh, is it? Yeah. This oh, see, so there's the just top 16. 16. That's yeah, a yeah. weird top number. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> University of Newcastle, number eight. Suck it, Newey. Number eight, Western U- Sydney University. Okay. Mm. So, wait, 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 wait. Western Sydney mm. beat University of Sydney. Mm. This is at... West the is best. West is best. This is the only thing they would have beaten them at and breaking into cars. See, oh, I'm my back. God. <laughs> La Trobe University, Melbourne, number seven. <laughs> number University six. University of Tasmania, number mm. six. No, this list is broken. Guys, we can't take anything this list says. Do you want to hear what Tasmania's they say? Number, Tas- they s- so, can you explain Tasmania for overseas listeners? I like to keep our uh, internationals in on the jokes. Right. Um, um, it's like a small offshoot island... Off What's Australia. the jokes about Tasmania? Why don't you just say the jokes? You say. This is weird, okay, man. Okay, you go on. <laughs> it says, yes, they do exist, and they've got some major thirst traps down there that you've definitely overlooked. They're inbred. That's the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. Think about it. There aren't many universities in Tassie, meaning that the best of the best waddle on over to UTAS and create a pool of hotness and learning. That is so <laughs> funny. Because the whole joke is that because it's all the, like a small island that everyone's related and they're all got two heads and like mm. six toes or whatever. Mm. And I know, daddy like. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, University of Western okay, Australia. I'm moving on. Mm, did University you want to keep Western Australia- talking nah, about toes? Western Australian people are hot. I don't know if you've been to Perth. I've actually seen some hot chicks Fucking Perth, hot. Yeah. And the dudes, they're all hot. They've got good rigs. They've got mm. tan skin. Nice Just hair. You've clean. Probably you're, shower. You're barring up over there. Oh, yeah, baby. University of Wollongong, number four. Get some. <laughs> That's what we do, you know. <laughs> Woo. These number guys do four, not look like you in this picture. Show me. They do not look like oh, no, uh, A year or two ago, that was, yeah, that was me at uni. That was oh, what really? I like. yep. Number three, University of Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne does have some attractive people. Mm. Mm. Number two, University of Queensland. Mm, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that is a good image. It's a nun <laughs> wafting her face as if she's turned on. And the number one, hottest wrong. university <laughs> wrong. is University of Technology Sydney, UTS. That is wrong. And their reasoning is taking the top of the list is UTS. A wise scholar by the name of Jason Derulo once said, been around the world, don't speak the language, but your booty don't need explaining. <laughs> what? And we're 90% sure he wrote that at UTS. Nope. <laughs> the clientele at UTS are phenomenal. Nope. And everywhere you look, there's a new hottie to admire. It's not true, The Mark. sexy accents, jaw-dropping fashion sense, and sun-kissed skin <laughs> are enough to make you orgasm right in building one. UTS is like 14 at best. Also, yep. Hugh Jackman went to UTS. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes that, sense. That Just be on him alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair. Can we see what it said about Wollongong, my hometown? Yes. A uni I went to for four years and passed. Was it a four-year degree? Yes. Really? No, it was a two-year degree. <laughs> <I'm always bad. laughs> okay, hear me out. This is the article, not me. Do you know how many underrated hotties are living around Wollongong? Oh, <laughs> stop it. I'm talking real suntans, true grit Aussies. And y'all don't know about them because y'all nose down in the textbooks, not their Insta feed. Think about it. UOW has a great fitness and performing arts department, which loosely translates to fit, tanned, beautiful humans who are outgoing and have great personalities. Oh, wow. Well, stop it. Also, if you're into that stop beachy it. type, you'll find it. So if you're looking for your glowing, sunny babe who studies PR on Thursdays, this is the place this for you. This is the place for you. Wollongong. Mm, interesting. Wollongong. Gateway to the south. So you tick all those boxes? We love the gong. Pick one I don't tick. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh, there you go. There oh, you we've go. learned a lot. And then it says also uh, Frenchie went to Wollongong, so... Disregard the above. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, it says that. It does not say <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, did you see... Well, what did your uni get, Tom? I didn't, it wasn't did even I, in the list. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it because I didn't hear it. <laughs> it wasn't in the list at all. 17th, maybe. Maybe 17th. Out of... 16. <laughs> Maybe they don't consider it a university, <laughs> which would be fair. 
Didn't even make the university list. The hottest being a university. If you combine you, Elliot, and Kenny, you're, mm. you're members of the roundabout crew, you yep. would have one good-looking human. You reckon? Yeah, if you combine the best features from everyone. I reckon you'd have a monster. <laughs> no, like the other two would be the monsters, but you, everyone, one human gets the best features. Like You've got nice. That's a nice uh, beard. Thank it's you. Very like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not dense. It's just perfectly even. It's a very even. There's no patches. It's. I've just got. I know the word you're looking for. Yep. What you do to children. Groom. <laughs> very groomed. Nice and groomed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? High five. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard this story, Frenchie? The Scottish reporter stitched up by Aussies who told her that she was holding a drop bear. I have not heard this one. So a Scottish reporter was about to do a news uh, segment mm. and these Aussie blokes have stitched her up and made her wear, <laughs> like it looks like um like ice hockey padding and an eye mask, like a ski mask to hold the koala bear. Yeah, that's bear. a ski mask. So, um, that's like, yeah, like that's some hectic paintball armor she's got. She's got armor on. Let me just get it up so we can That's hear the audio. Sick. That's really funny. Which is a classic. Drop bear Bef- is a classic before, thing people tell. Before we clients. hear it, we're going to both imitate her voice and we're going to see who's mm-hmm. closest to it. Scottish accent? Yeah, obviously. Okay, you go first. Scotland. As you can see, I'm holding the drop bear and it's fucking dangerous. Scotland Loch Ness. That's pretty good. Guinness. That's not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Wollongong, number four, hottest, whatever. They can take out freedom, but they can't take out drop bears. Yeah, that's yeah, good too. That is great, different. Great. Nah, different shades of Scotland. Scotland's mm. got, a, got a lot of different accents. It's the Tasmania of the UK. I don't. I believe that's Wales. No, Wales well, is the New yeah. Zealand of the UK. Is what they say. It, do they say that? Yeah, they do. Mm. Actually, I don't say that Welsh people or New Zealand people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> they don't try care. not they to don't care. everyone. They don't care. All right, let's hear what she has to say. So Deb's going to be holding a drop bear. She's got the drop bear suit on. Yeah. Well, Putting her on. Well, at the moment, okay, because there's nothing near me, but it is a bit like a Batman suit. It so I'm a bit worried like a about why I need this level of protection. Okay. Gloves as well. They're putting on big gloves on their hands. Why they like... I think it's just um, yeah. They do, do go for a leash. I don't know why the audio is so bad, but They're yeah, like, basically um, welding gloves. Welding gloves, a mask, everything, and then they just hand her a run of the mill koala. But what does she say when she's holding it? Can you just play that end bit, please? Well, the stop. audio is playing up. That's why. Yeah, I stopped. know. Just, just five seconds. We want to hear her accent. See who's the closest to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so competitive. <laughs> Oh, they're just in the backyard of some dude's house too. It's a suburb mozzie home. It's like got an above ground pool. It's got a good yard, lawn for cricket. Yeah, come get it. Oh, it's a fucking drop bear. You want to be careful with this thing. It's fucking, it'll steal your beer. It'll, you leave a 4X around, it's going to fucking grab it and then slice open your cock. <laughs> you don't have a cock, but you know what I mean. Daz it's it not, down the it's road. It's not working. My mate Barry down the road had a drop bear encounter. And, um, sorry? Are oh, you still here? Yep. No, you're talking to Swedish girls. We're doing drama games again, Tom. <laughs> oh, my God. You're talking to Swedish girls. You've got to make up a story about drop bears. Go. Hello, what is drop bear? That's a strange question out of the blue, Swedish girl. Yeah, I want to know. And if you tell me good, I will suck your dick hole. Drop bears is uh, <laughs> these guys that um, patrol around Oxford Street. <laughs> Very Ooh. big, burly men, big beards, big chest Ooh. hair, very strong. They hide in the rafters above the shops on Oxford Street. So when you go past the tool shed, Ooh. they drop down and their penises go straight in your bum. <laughs> and how do you know this, BFG? Because I am a drop bear, my love. <laughs> now let's drop those pants. <laughs> no? Too much. <laughs> Too much. What? You started it. Is what happens when you I thought you was going to make up a story about fucking drop bears. To be worried because I'm Yo, told did I that he take... can sense if I'm worried. Yeah. We've been told that this is quite a dangerous bear that's been known to attack people. It's called a drop bear because they drop out of the tree to attack people. 
just been handed it and had to put on all of this protection gear because of what it might do to me. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what it's doing right now. She, she, oh, it's looking at, what, well, okay. No, right. I thought he was gonna get you. Right, um, I, you, I really want to take it off. I tend insurance might not right, cover this, okay, do you want to take it off? Say, shit, 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 I'm really She's not happy. I'm, I'm gonna get the dart gun, just don't move. The no, dart okay. gun. Notice I have an extra thumb okay, on each okay. hand compared to the koala. No, take it off, take it off, take it off. Please take it off me. Go on. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Boy. All right. Good work, Sam. Thanks, mate. Let's go. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Did you look great? This is when the guys that took they took the koala off her without wearing any protective gear, and it just hugged them. That was so dumb. Oh my! That's great. Goodness. That That's is great. So love funny. that. Can't believe people still fall for that shit. You, she would have seen a fucking koala. She would have seen a koala in her life. Yeah, but she wouldn't have held one. When would she have ever seen a drop bear or heard of one? I don't know. That's so funny. Um, When I was in America once, I was 19, so like a year ago, I um I was outside. It was Times Square. There was that big toy store there or something. Or maybe okay. it's near Times Square. It's, it's somewhere in Manhattan. And there was a dude in a giraffe suit. Ooh. Mm. And so we got talking to him. How? And How did you know. get talking to him? I don't know. How do you not get talking? He's in a giraffe suit. But everyone's dressed in weird shit in Times Square. Yeah, I was probably asking for directions or some shit. And he's like, yo, you're Australian. I'm like, yeah, man. Um, how you going? Whatever. I'm Australian. Drop bears. Whatever. And, uh, and I was like, <laughs> I started talking shit because that's what I do. I was like, we don't like giraffes in Australia. He's like, yo, why not, man? I was like, oh, because it's a kind of sad, actually. They actually... They rape the kangaroos. Oh my god! <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Okay, they they rape the kangaroos and just fuck it. They just yeah. It's it's not it's not real good. They just don't get along really really well. I was like, I didn't even know you had giraffes in Australia. <laughs> True. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe he started talking to you because he thought you were a giraffe as well. <laughs> He's like, hey man, this is my corner, bro. You can't be wearing that costume <laughs> over here. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I would love to be mistaken for a giraffe one day. <laughs> Fourth hottest giraffe in the fucking country, motherfucker. Oh, so whatever. Shit. ULW repping. That's what we do, you know. So did you see Ricky Gervais's speech at the... Um, oh, yeah. We need to talk about this, guys. We need to talk about this. I yeah. did see it. Did you see it, Tom? Yeah, I did. I really liked it. Ricky Gervais has the rep. So, if you do win an award tonight... Just pause it. So, Ricky Gervais has kind of... It's this really cool rep he's developed for himself by by when he hosts the Golden Globes, he goes pretty hectic on the old uh, celebrities. Yeah. He roasts them and it's usually in good fun. There's probably a few who don't like it. And so, he sort of uses that to, to hype up and sell more tickets. It's very... And to get more viewers, the Golden Globes use it too. And this year, he went... Fucking hard. It was really good. Mm. So basically he said this is going to be the last year he does it, so he's going to go all in. That was kind of his his thing. Mm. Mm. So mm. And he did go all in. It was very... like it's, it's So it starts off with just general jokes, which are quite edgy. They're not too bad. Like just on movies and people, whatever. And then he gets to this bit and it's like, fuck. It's all pretty... Get the it's gun off edgy. him. It's Okay, but we'll just play 40 seconds from it. So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god and... Fuck off. So... It's already three hours long. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> That was a meme one. Meme That's what he's like said. He's like, you guys are soulless. If um, Apple, you half of you work for Apple, they've got a streaming service and they've still got child sweatshops in Asia or something like that. Yeah. They still, well, not, well, they employ children in Asia or whatever like that. And then they were saying if ISIS start a distribution company, you'd ask your agent about it or something like that. Yeah, That's yeah. Very funny. And he made Jeffrey Epstein jokes. 
And then he's like, sorry, I know he's your friend and stuff like that. It was some real good call. I was surprising that one was so, ooh. Because, like, do they not know he's a pedo? They, he's just dead. I think that's all. doesn't matter. And it's edgy. It's still but edgy yeah, to but make jokes about him. Yeah, but I don't think it is. Like, I don't, oh, you don't make jokes no, about it's dead not, people, it's but not if about they're that. a pedophile it's before, you It's not about the fact can. that he's dead. It's that he's a pedophile. Is yeah, the edge. and they, that's all, why they were all friends with him. They were all hanging out with him. Not all of them, obviously. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really. I didn't really hear about him much till last year. Yeah. Jeff, Jeffo, good Joffrey, Joffrey, Joffrey. He's from Game of Thrones. Joffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next story. <laughs> Do you know who Ross Kemp Joffrey. is? Joffrey. Um, no. Really? Do you know who Ross Kemp is? Yeah. Ooh, um, so well Ross played. Kemp is a documentary uh, host. He does like um, it's called like the world's toughest prisons and all those type of ones. Oh He's yeah. like the bald English dude, and he like gets himself into real gnarly situations. And I've seen one where like these full like um, what are they called? Like militia type people get their guns out and they point it at him, and they're like, like seriously gonna mug the crew he's with and stuff. And Fuck. he just looks him in the face and he's like, "Fuck off" or something like, "I'm not giving you shit." And then they they kind of change their tone, We're but he he's like a tough. Well, did he actually say that or was that dubbed in? <laughs> Were they like filming, give us your guns and then it's like cuts to him in like yeah. a studio. F- fuck off. Yeah, I thought it was weird that his sonny's <laughs> dropped on him. His sonny's dropped. So in this clip I'm about to show wrecked. you, he, um, he tries a prison vape and inhales some spice, which is like a prison drug. And he loses <laughs> the ability to speak. Fuck off. So, like, he's, like, that type of um, bloke. He'll just, like, try some He's just going to try shit. some spice. Yeah. And all things nice. Cameras have never been granted full access to this jail until now. This is a wild game of survival. There's not one prisoner in the country that we won't take. Tommy Robinson has just become Belmarsh's problem. This is Belmarsh. Cameras have never been granted full access to this jail until now. Why did that play twice? It's um, good though. It's good. I just want to see the clip of him smoking spice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Where is it? What it, what sort of I like was it like there. cinnamon spice? <laughs> Tandoori? Let me see. Lemon? I should say. Citrus? Oh, so they told him it's a regular vape. Oh, so it was like a prank. That's yeah. a hectic prank. He then in- Psych. It's inhales twice meth. before one of the police officers tells him, don't do too much. Seriously, Kemp states, I can actually feel that. I know I can feel it. Looking dazed, he then fails to answer a question posed to him by the cameraman. So he full gets fucked up by accident. That's fucking hectic. Yeah, if you're doing prison meth or spice, oh, you're only going to do one puff, surely. They get so creative how to make like booze and shit. They all like ferment weird stuff and do all this shit to make like They can like make moonshine, it moonshine their anus and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, they do fucking weird shit. They'll smoke their pubes. I was joking. Do they actually do that? Probably. Fucking hell. Um, can we get on to uh, Matt's chats? I believe we have a good one. Sure. Because uh, Matt's been, uh, can we play the sting? Let's get to that. Oh, well, it'll be this one, I reckon. Hey, I'm the OG Frenchie and this is Matt's chat. <laughs> <laughs> I love the energy he gives in that. Right, that's where I get, that's where I get it from. <laughs> okay, so Matt's chats. Matt's chats. Do you reckon when people die and get rigor mortis, they get like a real hard boner? I've actually heard something about that before. I think they do. Good chat. Yeah, I think they do. A lot of guys You think or... You know. (laughs) Do you go trawling through morgues, Tom? I go through graves. (laughs) Fuck off. I'm a bone digger, if you know what I mean. (laughs) So wait, so they actually get an erection. Stiffen up. I know they get rigor mortis and their 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 thing goes stiff. But I'm pretty their sure their penis does too. Yeah, I understand the That's question. Gross. <laughs> That's gross. I'm pretty sure they do. You're very you you sound very confident. I am. 
I've heard this before. Xander's going to look this up. I can look it up as well. It's funny because Matt said that uh, he wrote that as a stimulation conversation topic. And sorry, Matt, Tom's just too knowledgeable about this subject. A death oh, erection, angel lust, or terminal <laughs> erection is a post mortem erection, technically a priapism, observed in the corpses of men who have been executed. Yeah. I've particularly by fucked. hanging. It's called a death erection. That's fucked. Tom just typed in dead people bonus. That is a weird <laughs> search history. <laughs> Fuck my life. Hang yourself. What? Yeah. Well hung. Well hung. <laughs> <laughs> My mic was bendy. Um, he's got a few more. Um, if we want him, he mostly just critiqued our last podcast, which I don't know how I feel about. Yeah, I'm not a fan of people who. No, do not that. critiquing. He was more like added add, add-ons. Oh, okay. Like social media videos, shake it like Scotty and you go around and give a few unwanted shakes, which is not a bad idea. And the final shake, you shake a dude's dick at the urinal. So it's actually not a bad idea. That prank would go viral. Sorry, say it one more time. So it's like Scott uh, Morrison, the Prime Minister, oh, yep. how he shakes their hands and they didn't want it. Mm. So it's a video you go around and shake people or babies, I don't know, who don't want it and then you shake a dude's dick at the urinal. That's pretty funny. Yeah. It's not bad. It's definitely you. Definitely go to jail. Um, there's a new KFC ad doing the doing the rounds. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> that one. I've seen. Oh yeah, so this one. Times. Yeah, this one sucks. Hey, eh? actually, one? I'm glad he brought this up. Thanks, Matt. Okay, all the students are in exams. His mates outside with KFC, and then they just go bucket, and he just goes out and eats KFC. That's not a very good message from KFC. Finish your exam, and he's just done like C on all of them. I don't even think he'll see, to be honest. See would have got him good marks. And so it's the KFC's new catchphrase is just bucket instead. I believe they're trying to say BFG. Wow. <laughs> so that's where you draw the line. <laughs> no, I just think it's a shit ad. Yeah. No, Matt does too, apparently, because he just wrote that in. I have haven't actually seen, seen that ad. I don't okay. watch a lot of... Uh, I watch like playback TV. So if it's not on that, you know, like through the apps or whatever. Like what? Like Nine Now apps or whatever. You're not getting it? I don't watch it like off the TV. I'll watch it on play. Oh, I saw your fucking dating show, by the way. Yeah. Last episode, Tom Make told us about a dating show where it just shows... You think it's going to be good, okay? Because the way Tom explained it, if you listened, he's like, they just film um, like naked people. It starts on on their pussy or dick mm. and then it's just their titties or pecs and then their You really head. are bad at explaining stuff. No, that you? makes sense to me. That's exactly how I would explain And that's that. why you got that haircut. That's how I would explain it to my mate Scotty and he'd be like, yeah, I fucking got it. Um, and it's, you think it's going to be good because you like nudity, maybe mm. quick fat, but it's not like that at all. It's like the chicks, like first one I saw was chicks and so they've got close-ups on like pussies, which are not that attractive close up. And she's going, why do you like that one? Does, does it have nice flaps or do you think it's a bit too uh, hanging fruit or whatever the fuck <laughs> she was saying? It's hilarious. A roast beef sandwich. But like they're full serious about it. And then I'm just looking at it like I'm like, it was like too much close up of vaginas. Do you know what I mean? But you like Without something going in it. But you like the cocks. They were great. Yeah, yeah. they were great. Strange man. <laughs> it's a weird way to come out of the closet. No, right? I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really like the cocks either. They weren't good either. And there's just a close up of cocks. There's some really long foreskins. And they're all massive cocks. Okay. And it's just weird, Tom. I don't I don't I don't I don't know how to feel about it. And I quite like naked dating shows. I've seen that one with on the island. It's but that's Swedish blurred. people. No, nah, you can get the normal version of that. Really? Yeah. What do you watch it on? T V. Oh, I watch it on black dot com. <laughs> That's not a dating show, bro. <laughs> They're acting. <laughs> That's a dating show. That's not really it's her dad. It's a dating That's show. That's not really her stepdad, bro. It's a dating show in Tasmania. It is. <laughs> <laughs> if you die face down, your blood could also conceivably settle in your <laughs> penis, oh no, which creates the appearance of a boner. Oh no, but the chances of going out with a bang are pretty slim. There you go. I just want to prove that I'm right. Okay, you're right. Wait, I need to go to that news story. Can you play that news story up on the chat? So I forgot to talk about these over Christmas. Can you tell Fuck. me which one? It's the one. Um, it's, it would be a Facebook link. Um, uh, yeah, there. 
Yep, yep, yep. See if we can play this one. So this was on our local news in Wollongong, Win News. This was well, the Christmas break and a heat wave is always a recipe for record crowds on our beaches, and this weekend is shaping up to be the biggest of the year. All our members and patrolling members will have to be vigilant and you know, stay on their toes to make sure the public are doing the right thing and uh, keeping them safe. Just this morning, two northern Illawarra fishermen had a lucky escape when their kayak sunk three kilometres out to sea. They managed to swim into shore here at Coldale Beach before alerting police. We were in the water for about half an hour at least, 40 minutes maybe. Yeah, so I reckon we managed to paddle it halfway in and then had to swim the other half. So The fact that they notified That's police... Good uh, That's good enough. Uh, that is good enough. So okay. for those listening <laughs> okay. and watching... Um, one of the people who had the kayak warning. Well, <laughs> are you going to explain who Can it I is? reveal? Can I do the reveal? Yeah, go for it. So it's a whole new story <laughs> about kooks in the water, about water safety over the beaches because a lot of tourists come and get into trouble. <laughs> the star of the story was a kook whose canoe sunk three k's out off the low coast. And it was my fucking brother. <laughs> It was Matt from Matt's it was Chats. Matt from Matt's Chats and his oh mate Tom, Tom Willie Wilson. And so what, he was kayaking three Ks into the water and drowned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, he got lucky. So him and uh, Willie and another dude were out. Uh, there was two kayaks between them. That's why they got lucky. Um, and they were out fishing about three, three Ks out off the coast. And then they kept taking on more and more water. This is the way he explained it to me. And it was like, no, we're good, we're good. And then eventually <laughs> got to the point where like, yo, this, this kayak's fucked. We're going to have to swim back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Because <laughs> they like borrowed someone's kayak so they didn't know it had like a hole in it. <laughs> That's so they had to swim three k's back. Fortunately, the other kayak three was there. Ks. So they could put the, the fishing stuff in that other kayak and they could hold on to the back of it when they got real tired and stuff like that. And they could swap around, but... Yeah, it was a long swim. What a fucking kook. How funny is that? What? And the whole Why are they going story? so far out in kayaks and not having mate, a boat? Mate, it's the best fish. Why not a dinghy? It's the best fish. You didn't grow up on the coast, mate. You don't understand. Why do you need a kayak, though? Why not well, a I reckon they would have paddled out maybe a, a K or whatever, and then it just, you just sort of just drift, float out. You just right. sort of just drift. You're fishing. You're having a life. You're, you're chatting. Quite early in the morning, too. Like, it's definitely... And so what happened was they... <laughs> just swam in to cold our beach and their kayak was no one has seen and the lifeguard's like where the fuck did you come from <laughs> probably watching them from a fucking kayway and they had you have to ring up and and tell uh 911 saying yo there's a random kayak flown around right. we're safe don't go searching for right. people eventually it floated into a beach show that's funny, man. So the kayak could sort, the was sort of like a little it. bit underwater when there weren't people on it, could still sort of stay. Um, the news, I think maybe the lifeguards tipped them off. That's I don't know how the news found out. That's a good question. <laughs> Slow news day. It must be. <laughs> They're just waiting by the beach. It's Wollongong, bro. I love country country news. Yeah, it's funny. Country news is Classics. the best. I had a rude um, shock the other morning. Um, we've been Oh, burglar. No, I wish. Sucking the toes. I yes. I've been, I've been putting peanut butter on my toes before I go to sleep, just hoping. No luck. <laughs> Haven't caught any yet. Uh. Leave the windows open and shit. <laughs> I hope no one sucks my toes. <laughs> yeah. Going to sleep now. Deep sleep. <laughs> no sucking's going to wake me up. Yeah, no luck. Uh. But I woke up and we've had um, my girlfriend's dog staying with us. And um, it was like kind of dark. It was quite early so it's like not much light in the room i went to get something out of the cupboard um i dropped something yep. I, I reached down to pick up what i dropped um little black thing picked up with my bare hands <laughs> <laughs> a dog shit you dropped a dog shit <laughs> so i dropped something went behind me looked down saw a black thing picked up a shit with my bare hands screamed i was shocked i looked and i was like ah! <laughs> like a w and my girlfriend woke up laughing because I'd picked up a shit just casually with my bare hands. <laughs> then I like threw it in the air because I got startled. That's <laughs> funny. So, Was yeah. it a dry one or a, a very dry? That's lucky. Yeah, that's very, lucky. very dry and straight. It looked like something straight. I dropped, like yeah. a cigar. It was like, like a, a cigar. cigar. Some dogs do cigar shits. Fuck. And then uh, Ross Camp's like, I'm going to smoke this <laughs> spice. <laughs> like, that's a dog shit, up. Ross. <laughs> 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 All 
<laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> he does this all the time. <laughs> just pretends to be a dog. <laughs> I'm a dog. <laughs> Old Ross camp. Ross is smoking dog spice again, Dad. <laughs> Uncle <Yeah>. Ross. <laughs> Oh, what do you do today? Oh, smoke prison spice? Yeah. Fuck. Just some fucking drugs. In a vape? Why the fuck's it in a vape? And why would you smoke a vape Wouldn't off it be a prison? A pipe? Yeah. You'd think of being a pipe, but. I didn't even know they're allowed vapes in prison. Yeah. Mm. That's a fucking nice prison. Mm. That's Epstein's prison. And the vapes are child's. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How long have we been going for? I think that's enough time. Let's start the Let's slow wrap up. Oh yeah, that, that was good. lovely. What a lovely uh, podcast. Lots of stories. There's still more, but fuck, I'm heading enough. off to Radelaide on Ooh. Wednesday, guys. I'll still be back in time for Monday's podcast. But wish me luck. I'll be doing some cool filming, some cool uh, Instagram, and a lot of TikTok. And I'm guessing because there's a few Ooh. surprise guests who's going to be there who fucking love TikTok. Wow, cute. I'll I'll give you a quick uh hint, see if you can guess who it is. Cher, bro, cher, 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 cher. Jimmy Jackson. Ooh, oh, I love that man. Yeah. He's a good dude. I he's, love him. He's gonna be in Radelay with us filming some bids and uh the, the Racker boys and the Fair Barn boys, that uh, should be a good crew. Nice. You got a big week planned, Thomas? Looking for houses. I wanna buy a house. Mm. It's a lot of fucking around because they're like it's hard, man. People know. Because, like, you can't buy new builds because they're dodgy and fucking... Yeah. That's what's hard is, like, it should be, like, Monopoly. Mm. You know, buy a house of Monopoly. Mm, you know what you're getting. 100 bucks. And they're all the same. 150, 200 if you get a nice one. Yeah. Hotel, you, you can get a hotel for 500. Fuck. I could some, buy it. Some of them. I'd be able to... I'd rule on Monopoly if, with you my would, budget. With your yeah. budget. Mm. I still wouldn't be able to get a house. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, that was yeah. We're on the wrong. We're on the wrong <laughs> soundboards. All right, guys. Okay. Don't forget to go donate to the fires. Um, stay safe for those who have had problems and all that, and uh, stay yeah. sexy. Don't let those robbers come in and suck your naughty little yeah. toes. <laughs> Daddy likes.